All right, so we got everything torqued down. Kyle went ahead and looked at all the specs on that, and that was 63 foot-pounds, so we got everything done. Um, we did do it in three consecutive intervals, like it said. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure for connecting rod side clearance. It's pretty simple, guys. Um, different places will say you're going to measure at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. I went ahead and put this straight up at uh, the 6 o'clock position. And there's a gap here between the rods. So the rods, that the, the face that faces each other, that's your rod side clearance. Uh, too much and things are going to want to move around. Too little and you're not going to get enough oil in there. So you're just going to be able to, you're going to go through your, your feeler gauge or a tappet gauge, and you're going to find the one that goes through there and slides through smoothly. So that is the ones I checked it before I did this so I didn't waste time. We're sitting at 15 thousandths. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go in and check uh, to make sure that is correct, which I already looked up and we're right within spec. So I'll go through and check all these and to make sure that we have the clearance we need. Clearance, Clarence. Clarence, Clarence. Clarence.